Gore and his daughter Lap, the last of their race, struggle in a barren desert. Despite their prayers to their god Rapu, Love dies. The, the god killing Necros Ward calls to Gore, leading him to Rapu's lush realm. After Rapu cruelly mocks and dismisses Gore's plight, he renounces the god, causing Rapu to strangle him. The Necros Ward offers itself to Gore who kills Rapu with it and vows to kill all gods. Gore is granted the ability to manipulate shadows and produce monsters, but is cursed with impending death and corruption under the sword's influence. After Gore kills several gods, Thor who has joined the Guardians of the Galaxy after the Avengers battle against Thanos, learns of a distress signal from Sif. He parts ways with the team and finds an injured ship who warns that Gore's next target is New Asgard. Meanwhile, Dr. Jane Foster, Thor's ex-girlfriend, has been diagnosed with a stage 4 terminal cancer. With medical treatment providing ineffective, she travels to New Asgard hoping that Thor's hammer, Molnir, which was previously fractured by Hela, might still might Healer. Due to an enchantment, Thor unknowingly placed on it years earlier to protect Foster, Molnir reforges and bonds itself to her. Thor arrives in New Asgard just as Gore's attack begins. Thor is surprised to find Foster wielding Molnir, but teams up with her, Valkyrie and Korg, to fight Gore. The group towards Gore, but he escapes, kidnapping several Asgardian children and imprisoning them in the Shadorian. The group travels to Omnipotence City to warn the other gods and ask for their help in creating an army. The leader of the gods, Zeus, is unwilling to help, thinking they can remain safe and hidden from Gore in the city. He also believes that Gore will not be able to achieve his stated goal of visiting the realm of eternity, where he will be granted one wish, presumably to destroy all gods. As a security precaution, Zeus orders the group's capture to prevent them from exposing the city's location to Gore. When Zeus injures Korg, Thor impels Zeus with his thunderbolt, which Valkyrie steals before they escape to confront Gore in the Shadow Realm. On the way, Thor learns of Foster's cancer diagnosis. The group arrive at the Shadow Realm but are unable to locate the children. Foster sees ancient drawings that depict Thor's battle axe Stormbreaker as a way to summon the Bifrost to enter eternity and deduces the trap laid out by Gore. She throws away Stormbreaker to prevent Gore from accessing it. However, Gore overpowers the group and threatens to kill Foster, forcing Thor to summon it back. Gore successfully steals Stormbreaker and injures Valkyrie before a weakened Foster collapses. Upon traveling back to New Asgard, Thor discovers that Foster's Thor form is not allowing her body to naturally fight the cancer. Due to this, Thor travels to Eternity's altar alone and using Zeus's thunderbolt, imbues the children with his power to fight Gore's monsters while he battles Gore. When Foster senses that Gore is about to kill Thor, she joins the battle with Molnir to save him. They destroy the Necros Ward, freeing Gore from its influence. But the three are brought into Eternity's realm. With Gore poised to make his wish, Thor implores Gore to revive his daughter instead of destroying the gods. Thor then leaves Gore to make his decision and attends to Foster, who succumbs to her illness and dies in his arms. Moved by their display, Gore wishes for eternity to revive love, which it grants. As Gore dies from the curse, he requests Thor to take care of love. In the aftermath, the children return to New Asgard, 
where Valkyrie and Sif began training them, and a monument in honor of Foster is built. Thor adopts Slav, who joins him in his heroics with the former wielding Molni and the later wielding Stormbreaker. In a mid credit scene, back in Omnipotence City, a recuperating Zeus sends his son Hercules to kill Thor. In a post credit scene, Foster arrives at the gates of Valhalla, where Hemidal welcomes her.